Okay, so hi there everybody. We're now on our next video in statistics. We're still in our um, batch of videos concerning hypothesis testing. And in this time, what I'm going to do, if you can see in my channel, I have created three separate videos for Microsoft Excel on how to do one sample t-test. That is comparing a population mean versus a sample mean. What I'm going to do today is to use this um, application Jamovi okay in running the analysis so in that three videos i will make use of the same problems and we're going to answer them all now instead of um excel we're going to make use of jamovi okay so let's get into it so for problem one um an educator claims the average salary of substitute teachers in school districts in Bacolod city is equal to fifteen thousand monthly a random sample of eight teachers is selected and the monthly salaries are shown below um, the question is, is there enough evidence to support the educator's claim at alpha equals 0.05 or 5%? So let's do this in four steps. Again, the step number one is about the hypothesis, um, you know, um, state, stating the, the null and alternative hypotheses. Step two is taking care of the p-value, making use of this Jamovi this time, and remembering the value of the alpha. Step three is our decision rule. That is, um, compare the values of the of the p value and the alpha value, and then from that state our decision. And step number four is all about the conclusion or the summary of results. So let's get into it. So we say here in um, step one, um, we only use in symbolic form that the mu your mu is equal to um, fifteen thousand. This is this is using LaTeX. So. We do that in our as our um, H O H sub O. Let's type in that H sub O. Um, there. And then we will say our H sub A. H sub A, or if you want, you can have H sub A or H sub one. It depends on the book, but we'll use H sub one since our book uses that. Um, you is um, not equal to um, not equals um, 15,000 and there we go so th those are our null and alternative alternative alter alternative sorry null and alternative hypotheses respectively so step two we know our alpha level is alpha is equal to 0 0.05 which is um, the probability of creating uh, or having the maximum probability of having a uh, type 1 error and we want to get the p-value of course so our p-value is something like you know we don't know yet so we're going to make use of Jamovi here so let's call this um let's change our variable into the it's seven um, o'clock sorry okay let's change our variable into um monthly salaries of teachers monthly salaries we say that it's not nominal but it's continuous and uh let's be contented with that um, i'm just going to copy and paste it all of these here paste oops oh bummer let's do this manually then one thirteen thousand five hundred sixteen thousand um twelve thousand um one thousand five hundred eleven thousand one thousand sixteen thousand five hundred 13,000, 14,800. Okay, there we go. And then we want to run the the um, analysis. We click on the analysis tab, click on the t-test, and click on one sample t-test. And then we want to make use of these monthly salaries and put them on here. Um, anyways, why is it? Okay, let's go to data again. It's still nominal. We want to make it ordinal. Okay. Going back in analysis or clicking here. Um, we want the student's t-test. Again, you can see a lot of options here. Um, this is a two-tailed test. We can see in our step one that it's two-tailed. So we're going to make use of the unequal sign. Our test value is at 15,000. We want to put it there. And um, exclude cases, we don't need other plots. Maybe we need the descriptive plots if you want. Um, here's the descriptives. You, it, it gives you the N, the mean, the median, um, SD, and standard error. 
others we don't really need but if you, you can put some some of them if you really want them to sh to show if you want to show them okay so um we don't really need that um what we just want to focus on all the other descriptors you can get that for in the in our former videos in 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 the mean um let's be contented with these first so this is our one sample t-test on the monthly salaries of teachers our students t our t-statistic is negative 1.38 pretty much that's correct and uh, we don't really need the df for now um, but our p-value is 0 0.211 0 0.211 so we say here in our left hand side is equal to um, 0 0.211 all right and then that's it that's for our p-value for the step number two what we need to do then is is going to be the rest for steps number three and four okay what we will do is we're going to compare the alpha level and the, the p-value um, then we say that um, since since your p value okay clearly is greater than greater than your alpha level uh, that is uh, we say 0 0.211 is greater than 0 0.05 clearly um, therefore what we will do is we will we do not to highlight reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so therefore we do not reject the null hypothesis. That's our answer for step three. Since we will not reject the null hypothesis, what can we say then? Since the null hypothesis um, said that said that um, our the the monthly salary of teachers is fifteen fifteen thousand, and that's not changed since we do not we did not reject it. Therefore, we say in step four that there is enough evidence. To support the educators claim okay that the that the average monthly salary of substitute teachers in Bacolod city is indeed uh, 15,000 pesos and that's the end for our steps um, may i highlight this so that we won't get we won't be lost in along the way so this is our solution okay so that's it for number one um we can go back to data and work on it again then we'll continue with um number two here let's go uh, so here's number two um let me fix this again put solution here and then um, all this parts to highlight. Okay, so step number two reads as, according to a report by Quartz in 2013, the Philippines is the number one coffee consumer in Asia. Uh, the typical Filipino drinks an average of 0 0.608 cups of coffee per day, which is equivalent to 4.256 cups per week. Suppose that a sample of 12 senior citizens revealed they consumed the following number of cups of coffee during the last week um, here. At 0 0.05 level of significance or significance level, do the sample data suggest that there is a significant difference between the national average and the sample mean from the senior citizen? So we want to answer that. So we have here the um, the the report by quartz which per week we're going to make use of per week because our given sample of data is is per week so therefore we're going to make use of the data and so instead of per day it's going to be per week right so we state first the null, the null and the alternative hypothesis um underscore o our mu will be equal to um status quo 4.256 it will not change for our um what do you call that? Um, alternative hypothesis, H sub 1, it's going to be unequal to because we want something that, that there's a change out of it. So we put mu and then not equals and then um, 
4.256. And then that's our alternative and null hypothesis. Step two, um, we just want to have our alpha value to be 0 0.05 or 5%. We just want to clear that out. We can also, and then we will be taking or getting our p-value. So what's our p-value? We need to input this first. Let's go in Jamovi again. Um, let's set this variable. Let's name them to uh, cups of coffee per week. Let's just put it in our, mind, in our minds. This is continuous data, and then we'll input. There are 12 senior citizens, so we are expected to, to input all of these in here. So 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 7, 7, 5, 5, 3, 4, 4. Wait a minute. 5, 5, 3. Oops, sorry. 3. Let's check that again. Maybe I got wrong. 4, 4, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 2, 7, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4. Okay, that's correct. We want to, to hide this now. And we want to run the analysis, t-tests, uh, one sample t-test. We want to run the cups of coffee this time. Um, okay, students, t-test value. And we the t-test, the test value that we want to check is the population mean. That's 4.256. And then we hit enter. Oh, I forgot. We need to check this student's t-test. Okay. So our HA, which is correct, our H sub 1, well, Jamovi uses h sub a, so okay. Mean is not equal to 4 to 5, pretty much also here in, in, in our um, first table. So we can see that the p-value that we have is 0 0.553. And the, the, the test statistic, our t-value is 0 0.612, which is pretty much correct here. And our df is 11, our degrees of freedom. So we say in our p-value here on the left-hand side is equal to um, 0 0.553. And that's our p-value. Then we want to um, what do you call that? Compare our p-value with our with our alpha level. So we say that since our p-value is greater than our alpha level, uh, that is 0 0.553. You can see it from there. Is greater than 0 0.05. Clearly enough. Hence, we will we do not, to highlight, reject our null hypothesis there. Okay, and since we will not reject our null hypothesis, so therefore we can say that there is no significant difference between the national average and the sample mean from or taken from the senior citizens. Okay, so that's our decision rule for step number four and our, our conclusion. Okay, and this is for number two. We're done for number two. Let's go back to data here. Oops, sorry. Let's go back in data here. And then let's answer the last number, which is number three. Okay, let's kind of fix this first. This is our solution. Uh, step one, step two, step three, step four. Okay, let's go. So for step one, um, before we do that, um, let's read first. So a consumer group is investigating a, pro a producer of diet meals to examine if its prepackaged meals actually contain the advertised six ounces of protein in each package. Based on the following data, we have this data here. Is there any evidence that the meals do not contain the advertised amount of protein? The goal is to test whether there is a significant difference in the meat protein content and the company's claim. What we're going to do is to run the appropriate test at a 5% level of significance. So let's start with the um, HO and HA. That's your null and alternative hypothesis. We say here for our null hypothesis that um, your mu, the advertised product is 6, so mu equals 6. And for our null hypothesis, what we're going to do is H underscore 1 or H sub A in some books. Actually, Jamovi uses H sub A. But in our book, we use H sub 1. So it's pretty much the same. MU or mu is not equal to 6. Okay, that's a um, two-tailed test. 
therefore it's two-tailed. We just want the difference. So step two, we want to to um, write our alpha level, which is equal to 0 0.05, the default alpha level. And we want to have our p-value next. Okay, so what's our p-value? We need to input all of these first in this um, letter C. Uh, let's call this the, um, where, where it is again, um, protein amount. Let's just put it like that to make it simple. Protein amount, and this is not nominal, this is continuous. And we are expecting how many? Um, let's see. So 5.1, 5.2, 4.9, 4.8. Can you tell me if I got wrong? Okay, 6, 4.7, 5.1, 4.2, 5 5.7, 4.9, am I right? 5 5.5, 5.5, 4.9, 5.6, uh, 6.1, correct? 5.8, 6, 6, 5.8, 6 6.1. So there are 20 of them. Let's try to check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There's 21. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's, there, that's 20. So we have 20 data. So pretty much that's, that's correct. So let's go again to the analysis. Let's close this one. Let's go to analysis tab. Click on t-tests and click on one sample t-test. And we want to use the amount of protein. Click on that for the dependent variables. And our test value will be our null hypothesis is 6. So let's put 6 there. And we have here, note that your H sub A, your alternative population mean, is, is not equal to 6, which is pretty much the same here. So our P value is 0 0.001. Or actually, it's less than 0 0.001. And your T statistic is negative 4.9. Negative 4.9 and your DF is 19 because your um, N is 20. So we're going to put it here. Um, since the P value is less than your alpha level, less than your alpha, um, that is 0. Point, or we say is less than 0. 0.001. Actually, we say it's less than 0 0.005, clear, 0, 0, 005 rather. So clearly that's true. We say then, therefore, we will reject, we reject, to highlight, I'll put it on all capitals, the H sub O, ordinal hypothesis. So that is to say, um, okay, that is to say, for number step four, um, therefore, okay, we can say hence we have enough evidence. We have, sorry, we have enough evidence to say that the protein content in the prepackaged meals is different from the advertised amount. Okay, so that's our step number four. Um, and this completes our solutions for our solutions for numbers one, two, and three. So for number one, you may want to skim number two and number three. So in numbers one and two, we did not reject the, H, the null hypothesis. And number three, we rejected the null hypothesis. And this is how we use Jamovi in our, in our um, one sample t-test. So that's it for this video. Hopefully, hopefully you have learned something from this. Um, using Jamovi, using um, it as, as a statistical tool and finding the, the p-values for the... Um, for the one sample t-test. Okay, so something's happening here. But anyways, um, we are done with that anyways. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and hope that you, I hope that you would like and subscribe. So see ya.